Hello. 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 How Good are you? Good evening. I'm a bit tired. But uh, okay. <laughs> I can imagine. It's oof. It's a lot of things to get done today, huh? Yes. I helped my cousin to do their his assignment. I mean his assessment for Avanzo. Oh. Yes, yeah, that it was is, pretty this is the, long. <laughs> this is the high school thing, right? Yes, yes. It was pretty long. That was today? Yes, today. Okay. He has a lot of issues with their with his email, but I help him. And it lasts at least one hour to recover their email account to, to do that assessment. And do they give the score in the moment or do you have to wait like a few weeks or something to get the results? We're going to wait for the result, the final score, but today we could check the, the points that he get, that he got, I mean. It's a, so today they, they told you already how, how many points he got? Yes, how many points, but not the real score. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. They have to change it to another format or something. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Hey, Carol, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, here. I'm kind of red. I'm painting my house. <laughs> it's like you cannot imagine how I, I look right now. <laughs> I, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. I'm like a rainbow. I have red, sky blue, gray, <laughs> a lot of colors. Uh, so the house is going to be very colorful. Yes, it is going to. And we are also decorating Christmas. But the Christmas are pink, purple, and white. <laughs> so different colors too. Okay. All right. <laughs> not, yes, the it's a not the traditional colors. No. It is because my daughter, it's the first time that we do it, so it's like, it's their favorite color, her favorite colors. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, That's I, why. it's always nice to, to have the first times, you know, it, it, it's almost like more special, right? Look. Uh-huh. It is kind of pink. I oh, see pink, it. purple, and white. Purple and white, yeah, it looks mm. nice. I like white trees. I think they, they have a nice touch. Oh, yes, and these are the colors of your painting, like red, I told you. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of different colors, so we haven't finished. Mm. We have a lot of to do. <laughs> I can imagine there's so much to do. Yes. And so much to paint. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah, 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 always so many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teacher, we were we were having questions with Sandra about the platform. Uh, yesterday was working in the first part, section one, and I don't know if you have already said the if there is a trick on the platform about the first knowledge check. I think we did. We already. I think we we talked about it. But let me pull it up and let's check. Hang on. Let me change because. All right, so uh, knowledge check 1.2 or, or? The first knowledge check. Okay. I don't remember if it is 1.2, but it's, I have here the picture. It is about, um, With the last one. well, the one that I have incorrect, it is talking about politics at, I don't see the other part. <laughs> Hang on, let me. The first one, thank you. Okay. But That's it's... the one that we had, it right, Sandra? Oh, yes. Yes. And no, uh -huh. That's the first. And then we have, well, I have questions about the next knowledge check. Okay. Hang on. Let me take a look. Uh, yeah, that's the one we did. Um, as far as, hang on, I'll, I already have some of the answers that we answered here, and the other ones were for you to do. Let me show you. 
this is the one? Mm -hmm, the first. Number one, talking about yes. politics? I think that is, yes, that's the one. Okay, and mm -hmm. what, and so the original sentence, it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. And then you have to use a gerund, which is the verb with ing, or an infinitive. In this case, we use a gerund, right? Talking, mm -hmm. talking about politics, and then the same, at work or school is inappropriate. Oh no, that's the, I have it correct. Let me let me enter to my platform because I, I think that you had the last one because uh, we were talking about like yes, the last one. Yeah. Ah, it is the last one. I'm not yeah, in, but I I just yeah. remember that I have to ask you about it. <laughs> Number. Let me okay Go enter ahead. to to my platform because and if you want share the, your screen, no problem, and that way. Uh, I will enter in the computer and I'm connected in the cell phone. Okay, no problem, no problem. We can and, and the In the next one, yes, I'm sure that is in the next knowledge check about reporter speech. Okay, let's do the number one. three. Let's do this one first and then okay. we'll, we'll help you with the let, next one. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you which one it is because I can have my hundred just because of that. Okay. Don't worry, Oscar has it. He knows the answer. Okay. Let me get in. My computer is turning on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And everybody, while, while Carolina is doing that, um, does anybody have any other questions? Any questions about yesterday? No, the news, everything is okay? I don't, well, teacher. Well, not for now, teacher. Okay. Well, well, Carolina, you keep loading it. When it's ready, you let us know. The okay, other, teacher, I will. The other situation is that we were looking at um, the adverbs. If you remember yesterday, to help us a little bit more, we were looking at adverbs. And those adverbs are the words that give us the sequence. You know, uh, we can say... Uh, afterwards or before or as soon as or when and we have usually we have a couple of different times that we use them okay mm. so we usually use the adverbs to describe when one action happens after another okay we use another adverb when we talk about when two things happen at the same time and then the third adverb is when we talk about when one thing happened before the other. So those are the three times that we use. So we have an action and something happens after that action, something happens at the same time of that action, and something happens before that action. And those are the adverbs that we were looking at yesterday to help tell our stories or give our explanations a little bit better. All of those things make it easier for the listener. So when they're hearing you or when you're telling them, it makes it easy for the descriptions. Were there any questions about any of those? We're gonna be looking at them in a little bit. So don't worry if you have a, an issue or, or something, we'll, we'll take a look at them in just a second. I got it, teacher. All right. Is the last, asking a stranger if they are married is inappropriate in some countries. All right, perfect. And what did you put? I have to ask strangers if they are married it's not appropriate in some countries, but I don't know if it's that correct. Well, it's not correct, I know. <laughs> okay, you're right, it's not correct. They, you are supposed to begin with the position, the, the location, so it would have to be in some countries. Oh, okay. Okay, that would be the first part. So you need to put down, it's in some countries. Okay, in some countries. Okay. And then after, comma, no. Yes, no exactly. In some countries, that's right. It would be in a comma. Countries, comma. To ask a stranger if they are married is inappropriate. No. In some countries, it's inappropriate. Uh, it is in the other way. It's inappropriate. To ask some strangers. Oh, sorry, no, some strangers. To, to ask, ask strangers. Yes, sorry, sorry. To ask strangers. If they are married. Exactly. 
Okay. And point, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, no, I'm sure that is not. In some countries, it's in a, it is or is inappropriate. Okay, okay, look at, are you seeing my screen? Yes, I am. Okay. In some countries, oh, I, I have to use contraction. It is inappropriate to ask strangers. Oh, I have to use contraction again. The contraction is important, teacher. Teacher, oh, is, okay. it, yeah, that's true. For my, yeah, yeah, right. I have the same mistake with the, the. I got it. Woohoo! All right. I don't know why the system. Sometimes we had to use the contractions, and sometimes we had to use the. We had ha, had not to use the contractions, teacher. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't help you there. It's the only. <laughs> only yes, the, in my case right now, after you gave me the answer, were contractions. I wrote not contractions, so that's why. Mm -hmm. So sometimes okay. it is. Sometimes without. Sometimes they just make a mistake, I guess, or they don't put in both both options. They only put in one option. Okay, and then in the next teacher knowledge check, it is 1.8. 1.8, okay. okay, hang on. And which question or? That's three. Number three, okay, just a second. Okay, it says there's a, uh, yeah, she said uh, the word is because the, uh, we talked about this one in class and that one had a mistake, which is the back. It, it should be the bank. She said, bank. yeah, it's a bank, they, they, the original. She said that there was a bank down the street. It down the street. It doesn't matter that I don't know right the word that. Because I have no, no, said no. there was a bank. Yeah, that's fine. Down the street. Okay, uh, I will try. And the number seven. And number seven. Was the movie scary? And what did you put? I have the children ask me if the movie was scary. No, if the movie had been scary. Okay had been because the question is already in past and if the question oh. if the question is in past then you have to do the past perfect had been okay yes okay. i i didn't know that no problem had been scary mm -hmm. so when you're doing reported speech it's always one back so that means what we're saying by one back is if i say present you say past if i say mm -hmm. past you say past perfect and that's okay Okay, I, I have the teacher, thank you. I will, I have my 100. Okay, all right, good to know, good to know. Anybody else have any other questions or issues for any part of the platform? Not for now, teacher. All right, excellent. Then let me share my screen with you and we can take a look at the ideas for today. Okay, yesterday we saw a little bit. Um, and it's also in the WhatsApp for those Before of you that. that weren't here yesterday. You can check or in case you want to use the reference. And this is what we're talking about. When I said that we use it, the adverbs, we use it for three things. We can use it um, when we're thinking about the activity, when it happens after. Okay, those be, that's the first list of the words. Those are the words like afterwards, later, the next day. We can use the adverbs when they happen at the same time. Those are the words like when, as soon as, the moment. And then we can use the adverbs when we're talking about things that happened before them. Those are the words like uh, up until then, before that, until that time. Do those adverbs make sense? Do you know what, the, well, all of them are used for that. They don't have that specific meaning, but that's what they're used for, okay? They're used to describe time events. So they're either the event happened before or the event happened after, or the event happened at the same time. And what is the meaning of afterwards? Afterwards is after that action or after that event. Mm -hmm. 
and it's like a synonym for uh, after. Yes, yes, yes. It's synonym for after, yes. But uh, the difference is that after is like a step, like in a, maybe in a recipe or instructions. First, next, after, like you, you go in order, right? And afterwards is after you finished all of the steps, then you do that. Oh, oh, it's like when I finish an activity, I can say afterwards I will do another activity. Yeah, like, 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 like afterwards, like I, I'm, I'm having dinner uh, afterwards or you're having dinner after the class. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Any, any other questions, anybody? Um, the meaning of up <clears throat> until then? Up until then is, at, uh, for example, imagine this is the limit, um, and then up to that limit, up until then. So at that time, so that means that this didn't happen or this happened uh, before that. As an example, um, do, uh, do you have a job? Yeah. Okay. Ernesto, and bef before before you re you got a job, um, did you uh, you know did you go out? Uh, did you spend your money without thinking, or did you buy things for yourself? Not up until then. Exactly. So, not uh, on or up until then, I didn't understand how hard it is to earn money, or up until then, I couldn't save any money, or. But what the the meaning is that all of those things up to that that limit. Yeah, and this uh, adverb has to be all, always at the beginning of the sentences. No, no, no. Well, in this case, up until then can also be used um, at the end of the sentence. Okay, so you can say I hadn't gone to the movies up until then. Mm, okay. Yeah, but it's. So the uh, but it's the the expression together that you're going to use. So you're going to use the word up until then to mean that. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anybody else? I don't, teacher. Okay, great. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these things when we talked about yesterday is that we were talking about news and stories and things like this. You remember? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. So hang on. I'm going to, we have it here in 2.11. Okay. But what we were going to do is, let me show you. Also, I want to take a picture, but okay. Hang on. Let me get this mm -hmm. picture into the WhatsApp group. I don't know what happened. Ah, here's our group. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to use those words that we have, and we're going to talk about the story. Okay. And we're going to describe, uh, and we're going to want to use those images that are there. So what happened for that story, what happened before that story, what all of those things, okay? So up until then, or afterwards, or um, when, or during, those types of things. So we're going to use, and let me go back so that we're clear. We're gonna use these words, okay? Um, you don't have to use all of them, obviously, but you're going to use those words to talk about the activities that are happening in the picture or in the image, which is 2.11. Is that okay for everyone? Yes, teacher. All right, so yes. you and your partners are gonna create a story. It doesn't have to be exactly in there. You can add more details, you can take away details, you can change the pictures, you can do, you can do whatever you want. You're gonna have 10 minutes, and then in 10 minutes, you and your partners have to tell us the story that you created, okay? Make sure that you use those words, include those times, so we can understand the orders. Is it at the same time? Is it before that activity? Is it after that activity? All of those things, okay?
Okay, perfect, teacher. All right, let's do it then. Let's get a couple of groups going. I think we can have there. Hello. Hi. How about you? Good day. I'm super so good. I'm a bit tired, but I'm good. In yeah, my I house, it's raining right now. In, in my house, it's raining right now. It's raining. Really? Yes. Where do you live? In Constitución Street. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Constitución Boulevard. Boulevard, Constitución yeah. Boulevard. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Near Walmart. La Gloria, I think. La Gloria. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So. Sorry, I don't have a good connection today. So. Ah, right. Uh, yes, I think we can get started. Ernesto, you had a question? Yes, we have a question. We have to use the picture to make our uh, uh, story? Correct, correct. You're going to use the picture to create your story. That's right. But it's going to be different because uh, we have some, some uh, sentences about the, the story, about the pictures. Sorry, sorry, Karen. So the story, yes, it's going to be different because you can add details, you can take away details, you can create um, other things that you want for it, whatever you like. So that's why it's going to be a little bit different. Um, you can change the order of the picture, you can put details. It's only to help you give you an idea of what to do for this or, or what to create, but what happens, what they say, uh, what occurs, this is up for you, you and your partner decide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I mean, okay, perfect. Now I, now I got it. Um, this morning when I was having breakfast with, with two friends, uh, we were having fun and we were laughing. And as as soon as the land start shaking, we thought it was an earthquake and the glass of <laughs> well, my glass of water comes down. And let me check what else can I mention that? Which other word can I use? And the glass of water came down, but it was not a it was not an earthquake, it was a, a big trailer that was coming from outside, making a lot of noise. <laughs> and they just start laughing at me because I was nervous. As soon as the noise finished, I just stand up nervous and take a mop to to wash the, to clean the floor, to mop the floor because it was wet about my glass of water. Before that, I have already eat all my breakfast and I ask them if they were, um, if they were okay uh, at the same moment. Uh, they say they were fine, and the next day I found them um, around my one block around my job, and they start laughing at me, and they were remember me that I was nervous. <laughs> I don't I can imagine that based on that on that 
in the picture, man. Okay, perfect. I don't know if you got the sense or you're gonna tell me. Uh, you're going to tell me the story, so you can say, "Hey, Eric, let me tell you that uh, yesterday when I was walking on the street, I saw a car accident. There yes. was a girl getting I saw a car out. accident. I don't know. And, and then you, then I can I can ask." I can ask mm -hmm. you something like this. Let's say, uh, oh, let's say, before the before before the in order to create a conversation, before you saw the car accident, the, the car accident, what were, where do you say you were working? Something like that, one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I will you, say you saw. Oh, we are not good creating stories. <laughs> a glass of water in the table and everything got wet. So now we have the first story. And and his friends started just laughing about it. Is that okay? Okay. It's okay. Okay. Well, So let me see if I can tell. Um, we can use another adverb in this time. Um, because I haven't been in the class since a long time, uh, maybe you can tell me the adverbs that the teacher have uh, taught. No, the adverbs, uh, we just uh, saw the adverbs yesterday. Ah, okay. Okay, so... Family. Okay, let's start with your, with your story and then just let's read all the story to see if... Okay, if we got sense. Yeah, if... Got sense. Okay, I'm 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 writing it right now on my on a note here. Okay, uh, give, give me one more minute. I'm just trying to get it, the ideas in order. Good morning, while we were moment that someone else could came to help her in order to call to call her down because it could be a bigger uh, problem so what do you see after that later i think they called the police because when i was coming back to my house they had already had a solution they already had a solution and i saw the police talking with them okay that is good so that is meant that everything afterwards was uh, solved. So maybe the girl and the other guy, so they uh, agreed something. Yes, right. I and I think the girl is new in the neighborhood, you know. Until that time, I didn't know her. I Is that correct, teacher? Until that time, I didn't know. I know her, but I didn't know. I didn't know her. Well, it depends. I didn't. If you, uh, so uh, would you use it for until that time or up up until then is that you don't know before that time? Mm -hmm. I didn't know the girl before that time. Correct. That's how you would use it. Yes. Up until then. Okay. Mm -hmm. So up, un up until then, I didn't know the girl. Correct. So I think she's kind of new in the neighborhood. Oh. The same, it's the same yeah. you can use you can use until that time whichever one you like so you, up until then bef before that or until that time i had never met the girl or i i didn't know her or whatever mm -hmm. i do okay i don't have to use perfect right i could just use this simple per uh, the simple past yeah 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 that's right okay
You okay, Ernesto? Yeah, we're ready. All right, great. Hmm. I don't know what happened to the partners, but maybe they are probably finishing. They say, oh no, the time is so fast. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel the time. Yeah. We, yeah. Couldn't, we couldn't finish the story, teacher. Ah, don't worry. In the moment, right now, you create it. ¿Cómo se dice improvisar, profe? Improvise. So we have to. Yeah, only part of it. Some of it you got, the other part, yeah, you can improvise. There we go. And I have a question. We have to uh, do a story about each picture or just one? Just one. Just one. Oh. Mm -hmm. We make a we make a story with Leonidas for each picture. That's fine. All right. Let's. The important is that you're using the vocabulary. So, if you made one for both of them, excellent. If you made two stories, no problem. Hey, Leonidas, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Hey, teacher, if 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 I got a mistake, please correct me because I want to learn. <laughs> okay. All right. Go for it. Okay. So, imagine that I'm the guy on the first drawing with the red shirt, right? So I write it, we write it down. Today morning while we were having breakfast with some friends, I thought it was shaking because of an earthquake and a big noise. When I listened to this big noise, I realized that was a trailer and, was a, and the, the noise was coming from the road. As soon as my friends knew that I was not, that it was not an earthquake, they, they started laughing at me because I was really nervous. When I tried to stand up, I threw the glass of water to the floor. And before that, I was trying to stay calm, but I could not. At the next day, I saw them one block around my house and they started laughing at me again, remembering the time. Later, okay, later, later after the breakfast with my friend Oscar, he thought that was a trailer, but it was a real earthquake. So my wife just think and go to visit her mom. But when my wife, wife Lucia was going out, she crashed the car with the neighbor car, neighborhood car. She realized that the car was empty because all the people was outside in the street asking by phone all his friends and family. Before, I had I had told her that it was better to call her mom. The end. All right, guys. Very good job. Very good. Only two uh, words that were incorrect. One was for the, the glass of water, which is I threw. No, I throw. Okay. I, I threw the glass of water. And the other is uh, she only thought, not think. She only thought about calling her mom. Okay, perfect, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Great job, guys. Great jobs. All right, who's next? Who's the next volunteer? Eric and I. <laughs> okay, Eric. Here I am. Ready. Okay. Hey, Eric, you know what? Yesterday I saw a car accident. Yeah, what happened then? I saw a girl screaming. Can you tell me? Yes, I saw a girl screaming and yelling. And she was very mad. Why do you think the girl was really scared or mad? The thing is that someone took his place in the park. And she was just trying to get out. And she didn't realize that there was a car, so she crashed. So... She crashed the other car, so I mean, it, I, I guess that it would be a hard, a, a hard kick or hard beat because uh, I suppose she was uh, going back with her, her car and crashed the other one, right? Yes, and it was very big because later they called the police and uh, I think they got the solution, but I think that girl is new, you know. 
I didn't know her until that time. Okay. Okay, afterwards, they got the solution. That is the best part, even that the girl is new in, the, is new in town, but that was good for her. Yeah, so I couldn't stop uh, to listen to or watch more because I have to go back to home, so that's all. Okay, and I suppose the next day she, will, she also will be laughing because of the accident, but shit happens. Yes, yeah, sorry. Great to so see you. I just uh, want, I just want to tell you that. That's nice. Great to see you. Take care, Caroline. Bye, Eric. Bye. Okay. Good job. Good job. Same thing. That no, that's good. That's good. Very good. Telling the story about what happened about the car accident. Yes. Um, always remember that it is when you're talking about it, you're going to not use have. Um, you're going to use had because the, the accident had happened or I had to go home or I had the, the had because it's in the past. And the other um, is the idea for would, not will, not uh, she will do yes. something that she would because it's in the past, right? Okay. Okay, okay thank yes. you. All right, good job. All right, who's next? Okay. Ernesto and me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ernesto? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, I'm going to start. When, okay. when he was eating her dessert with his friends, suddenly throw, throw the glass of water and they laugh at him. Um, the next day, they, when they remember this accident, Jorge was very ashamed about that. And uh, after finishing the dinner, after finishing the desert, they went to a clothes, clothes store to buy a new shirt for him. Because, uh, the, uh, yeah, continue. Up until then, he learned to be more careful about shaking his hand. And, and uh, as soon as he moved from the restaurant, he had to take a new shirt. <laughs> That's the end. Finish. Okay. Okay. No problem. It's a little bit of improvisation at the end, but we had the idea. Very good. Uh, so he only at the end he had to he had to take a new uh, a new shirt, maybe t shirt. Right, for, for for the clothes, right? Yeah. Right. So when you talk about clothes, it's not take, is um he had to get a new shirt or buy a new shirt or put on a new shirt. Um, That's the only one. Everything okay? Okay. All right, Thank good you. job. Good job. All right. I think we have one more group if I if I'm correct. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, Claudia and I don't remember. Angela. And Angela. Okay. Okay. Oh, one day, uh, my friend uh, Joseph was celebrating his and a special date with his friends, but. That day, they were celebrating a dinner party at his home. His friends came to his home and they were enjoying a lot. During this dinner party, they were telling jokes and all of a sudden, Joseph just dropped out the glass of water into the whole dinner. So. After that, he will continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, after, afterwards, I dropped the glass of water. I realized that in the morning, my wife 
was late, woke up late to go to his job. So she did everything as soon as she realized that it was too late. So she didn't eat and take a bath. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ay. Ay. Um. She was trying to uh, go. At that moment, in a party with my friend, uh, as soon as possible, I told my sister to come help me clean the floor so that people uh, would know shut up but in that moment I saw the white the white the waiter um, who didn't come so fast and the floor was dirty all night but we feel felt uncomfortable that's it that so at the end is with the the that you are with the floor uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Good job. So you can see, even if it's the same picture, we have four different stories, four different ideas of how to tell it. The important is that we're getting the idea of the practice of using those adverbs. Those adverbs help us a lot as far as what we need to do, what we're going to have. Um, first, before, afterwards, up until then, um, next, you know, all of those words are very important in our normal uh, vocabulary. Now, you don't need to use all of them. It's important that you know at least one or two for each category. So it's I think very common is the, the word that we use is like later or the next, the next day, the next week, the next, you know, the next time we see each other. I think that one is pretty easy, but it's probably the other ones that need a little bit more work. Like um, when, the moment, as soon as, before that, up until then, those are usually the ones that give us a little bit more problem, okay? So we're gonna, take a moment the are there any questions before we continue anybody that is not clear still on some of those adverbs well for now all clear teacher okay Everything's perfect okay great great so we're going to go ahead. We're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to come up to our partners, up to our groups. And now we're going to tell a personal story, an event, something that we imagine. Maybe you had an accident. Maybe you were cooking. Um, maybe whatever it is, we're going to try to use those words, just talking about our lives. So as an example, um, maybe a year and a half ago um, or two years ago, um, I, had, I, was, I was cooking uh, breakfast for the family. And, and I made eggs and sausages, and I prepared the normal breakfast, right? Um, but the night before, uh, we had eaten uh, beans. So I was um, heating up the beans, and we sat down to eat. Um, I had forgotten, and we just continued. The fire was still on, and, and we just went ahead and had breakfast. Then I smelled, um, I smelled, uh, something very bad. It was like something burning. Um, uh, up until then, I hadn't realized that I had left the beans on because I thought I had turned them off. So as soon as I smelled that, I, I got up. I, I, as soon as I smelled it, actually, I said, oh, who's the idiot burning the food? Some Because I, it's almost like from outdoors. And then at that moment, that's when I realized that ah, that was me. I was the idiot burning the food. So something like that, that's all you have to do is just talk about a time, an event, something that happened in your life. And if you need to look at the screen, if you need to look at the, the adverbs to help you create the story, to create the ideas of when you use them, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. 
let's make our groups. What, Angela, we invent. What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, kind of okay. Sorry. What we have to do? Oh, uh, we have to invent a personal story. A about personal that. story? No, but you're not inventing. You're only telling what happened. Talk about it. But my life is light. <laughs> nah, Angela. Everybody. <laughs> Something happens to everybody. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have to tell something. For three years while my husband was studying his MBA. Oh. And how but is Chicago? Just, uh, excuse me? How is Chicago? Is it beautiful? Ah, is it a I beautiful love the city? I love the city. I fell in love with the city. It's just amazing. But Did you like the, the what is the the part the part or the side that you like the most? Uh, the lake. To I miss when I when I went back. I really miss for a couple of months just to walk um, by the lake. Ah, uh, you really in in the lake get uh, freeze or congelado when when it, when in at winter. When yeah, winter. Chicago it's a really cold city because of the because of the of the car. So I just uh, stop the car and then open the 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 motor the the engine. Sorry. Okay. And I see fire in the car, <laughs> so I I just go to the to the back of the car and took the um, teacher. What's the name of the thing to to close, to shut down the the fire? Extinguisher. Extinguisher. Thank you. So I just got the extinguisher, and I applied to all the engine and I was very nervous for that. After that, I just tried to turn on the more, the engine and well, it, it was a surprise that star for me, but when I tried to go <laughs> uh, forward, I couldn't in that time because the motor, the engine, sorry, the engine was burned. So uh, it was too slow. The long skirt, imagine if I wear a dress. <gasps> oh my God, I cannot imagine the long Yeah, skirt. I <laughs> But it yeah, was very embarrassing. Yeah, terrible. Yes. <laughs> now that the teacher is here, yeah. teacher, how do we say Ministerio de Alabanza for church? Church is like worshiping mm -hmm. minister or Ministry. something like that. Ministry. Ministry, just that. No, 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 worshiping ministry. Worshiping ministry, oh, mm -hmm. okay. So we, that's what happened to me, Eric. It was very embarrassed. I was. Okay. I was very embarrassed. Mm -hmm. It was the moment, too, it yes. was very embarrassed. Okay. But, no, no, but when you, when you talk about the moment is uh, with ING, when you talk about you is ED. Oh, it was embarrassing and I was embarrassed. Yes, it's for all of the activities. So uh, ah. it, it was exciting. It was entertaining. I was excited. I was entertained. I was. Mm. So always for you is ED and always for the, the, the event or the activity is ING. Okay. So it was embarrassing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Very embarrassing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I, I'm still now embarrassed. I'm going to share my with you. <laughs> okay, Eric. <laughs> but that is, okay, I'm going to tell you a real story of my life also. 
-hmm. And let's say, how can I start? It, it happened uh, almost 10 years ago. I don't know why. I don't know why uh, this happened. He, since I've started, I started in, I travel, I've been traveled uh, since I work in San Salvador because I live in Sonsonate. So that's what I drive a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I had a, a, a moment in my life. Even the bus, I was really in the back of the bus, but even the bus driver could see the, that situation and he started laughing at me. <laughs> that situation. <laughs> My mother did the same too, and all the people around me, they, they didn't uh -huh. help me to stand up. They just started just laughing at me. <laughs> no. Yes, but and I enjoyed it. Sorry? I enjoyed it, that moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Imagine it, it could have been worse than just uh, fall and lay on the, on the, on the floor. Yes, but that was a funny situation <laughs> because I didn't expect just laying on the seat of the bus and I didn't injure any part of my body. So I was oh. really comfortable there asking me or wondering why that situation happened. How? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's the, it's the, the bus driver's fault. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. But, but nowadays you do... You nowadays I have a stronger arms than <laughs> that moment. Yes. No, you have been like preparing all your life for not laying. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm really prepared if that no. happened again. <laughs> no, it, it happened to me actually. <laughs> it was really? in my, my first time. Here <laughs> I went to the doctor again to the orthopedic. And he took a X a rayos X X-ray. X X-ray. And I had a una lesión, teacher. An uh, injury. I had an injury because of that day, Ernesto. Oh, <laughs> That's a sad story. <laughs> Really, for my friends, it's yeah. a funniest. It was a funniest story for me. <laughs> yes. It was. A I, I hope. I hope. I hope the medicine will help you with that. Without uh, pain, pain, right? Yep, pain. Uh -huh. When when it really hurts me, I took, for example, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. I will, I will, I will, I will what? <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> no, but, no today, but you, I don't know, but today I forgot all my English. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're uh, tired. I be profan. Okay, I be profan, Ernesto. Maybe three or two or three uh, field, uh, fields. But that's dangerous for your hígado. Inside the, the stadium, mm -hmm. I saw on the on the food court that it says, how um, All right, guys.
Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Glad to hear everybody is speaking well, getting the ideas, talking about the life events, remembering some funny stories. That's great. Um, please remember that we have class again tomorrow um, because we are still making up from last week because last week we didn't have class Monday and Tuesday. So that's why we had class last Friday and the other makeup will be tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the unit exam, um, the midterm exam and begin unit three, okay? Okay, okay teacher. So All right. Okay. We're going to have classes tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Teacher, All I right. have a question. Uh, what about the platform? Uh, you are talking about uh, exam. So how is this, we get the score with the, all the like little tax taxes or we had to do like a good score in the exam what what is you, the... you, you need an 80 so you need to have an, a grade of 80 or more in all of the in the activities or in the exam to average 80 okay i see mm -hmm. Perfect. um tomorrow we'll look at the exam and then you can see uh how the exam is okay perfect all right Great. Have Bye. a good night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.